Hey everyone, um, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you have watched my videos in the past. I'm going to just take a couple minutes to kind of, I guess, address the fact that I haven't made a video in a long, long time. It's definitely been over a year, maybe close to a year and a half. Um, some of you may have watched my videos from a long, long time ago and some of you may be newer to wax and have never heard of my channel or of me. Um, I'll probably do a separate video where maybe I give more of a general update. I mean, not that there's really much to update about me, but, you know, kind of, um, I guess just to quickly touch on where I've been, um, I just, I guess, got busy and got somewhat disinterested in making videos and stuff like that. So I just haven't made any videos in a long time. I've still been melting wax. I still, for most of, let's see, pretty much most of 2022 was buying vendor wax. And then I would say from about January, maybe February till about August of this year, 2023, I really slowed down on buying any wax and only recently um, in the last month or so have I really started buying a lot again. So I basically just, I don't know, um, took a big break from making videos, took kind of a break from buying. I had kind of gone crazy in 2022 so I have a ton of wax still, that's definitely not an issue. Um, I picked up starting to order again just because for some reason fall and Christmas scents are like my favorite and then I've definitely noticed a change in my scent preferences that I'm definitely leaning more towards bakery um, blends overall and shying away from just like fruity or kind of like not I, I do like fresh scents but I'm definitely leaning towards bakery and then more complex blends versus just outright fruity except for strawberry strawberry if you've watched me over the years you know strawberry is my favorite anyhow so i thought as a fun video to come back i do have hauls that will be coming in over the next weeks at next weeks i do have um a k's order that just came in yesterday so i'm going to try and film that this weekend but i thought a fun video to kick things off of me getting back here doing videos would be my fall melting basket. So today is September 29th, I believe. Yeah. So tomorrow's the 30th. This is going to be my melting basket for, and I say basket, but I actually have this basket plus two boxes over here, like smaller boxes. They're not huge. Well, one is kind of bigger, but um, I have some wax off to the side that you can't see right now that is going to be what I would like to focus on over the next two months. So October and November. And then I will kind of probably pick up more of my Christmas type scents um, around early December. Now, if again, if you've watched me, you know I'm horrible about sticking with my melting boxes. I, so I tend to make them or melting basket, whatever. I tend to make them very large, so I have a lot of variety. And then I also give myself the freedom to just pull other stuff from my collection if I'm feeling like melting something else. But what I did do when I pulled all of this is I definitely tried to get some from every vendor I have in my collection. And as long as that vendor had some kind of fall scents that I had, that I own. And um, yeah, and just to give me enough variety. So let me go ahead and jump in. I think what I'm gonna do is move this basket just because as I show you the wax, I think I'm gonna pile it up and I already dropped some. I'm gonna try to go by vendor, but I don't know how well that's gonna work. So just cause it's the closest to me right now, I'm gonna start with the melted mousse. This is honey butter rolls, uh, freshly baked yeast rolls with whipped cinnamon butter. I've never, I haven't melted like a ton of melted mousse yet, um, but I did place one custom order with her well, this is from April last year. So one custom order with her last year. I started kind of melting through it. So I definitely need to 
start melting a lot more of her stuff and get through what I have and then decide if I'd like to order again. She's changed her ordering style a little bit where she doesn't have openings or anything like that. She just has a group that if you're interested in ordering, you just reach out to her. But she is on pause right now as she gets married. Um, I can't remember the owner's name off the top of my head. She's not going to be back until like after October 15th. This next one is Evenings with Andrew, Sugar Cookies, Marshmallow Fluff, and Cracklin' Birch. And I'm not going to smell any of these because that would take way too long. So I'm just going to be showing them to you and giving you the scent descriptions. And if it's something I've melted before and I have a quick comment, I'll do that as well. Um, let me see. Do I have any other? I have some scent shots from her. Um, this is Manhattan Christmas, which is cinnamon peppermint cream. You can, this is from November 2021. This was like a mystery box or a sampler or something I got from her. Gangsta wrapper, hot cocoa, nutmeg, spices, and vanilla butter fudge. Um, nog nap, spiked eggnog, fluffy marshmallows, and what the carb. And then Magic Cookie Bars, Vanilla Pound Cake, Caramelized Pralines, Coconut Cream, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This one smells, yeah, very, that very heavy, sweet bakery. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not going to smell them all. I don't know why I smelled that one, but uh, let's see. I think I will do hmm, Super Tarts. I have a handful of things from Super Tarts. Um, this is from her wax Wednesday last year and the orders came in early this year. Yeah, I got it in January 23. So this is Alien. It's apple cider, vanilla bean, and donuts. This is Banner, which is cornbread, mac apple, vanilla ice cream. I think these are, this is half BAMs and I think I've used some of that Banner one or I've given some away. I don't know. Um, chai cheesecake. So it's chai tea, creamy cheesecake, and clove. I love chai scents and so super excited. I don't know that I've melted this one before. Hmm. It smells good, but I also get kind of a play doh -y smell from it. That's the first time I've ever experienced that with super tarts. We'll melt it and see how it does. And I think that's it for super tarts surprisingly. Okay. Let me do, I think I'll do L3. Hopefully I have it all in one. It might be kind of spread out a little bit, but we'll see. Hopefully I get most of it. So this is actually from a recent customs I did, but the, the recent customs I've done, I just basically got blends that I know I already love because they're scent blends I bought before. Um, most of them are ones that I personally didn't blend. They're blends that I bought. Loved it and wanted more. So this first one is Hufflepuff Roasted Chestnuts Bonfire Bliss. Love, love, love her Hufflepuff. It's fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. And this is a yummy, sweet bakery cinnamon um, in here. So absolutely love this one. It is so good. You can see I haven't melted any of that because I just recently got that custom order. I have a few of the Bitty Betties. This is Pumpkin Peanut Brittle White Elephant Exchange. So you're going to see a lot of stuff that I have and I have not touched. Um, a Clamshell in Dreidel Dreidel, which I don't have the scent notes for that. But I do know when I smell it, it's a fall scent, I, I believe. This one may be a little bit more Christmassy, but... I threw it in here because I'm trying to get through some of my L3. So this is Pacific Woods, Frosted Juniper, Cranberry Woods. I love her Pacific Woods scent. It's so amazing. This is Strawberry Pound Cake. I put a spell on you. Love this one. I put a spell on you is another wonderful cinnamon sugar blend. And hopefully I'm not bumping the camera while I do this. Uh, Bah Humbug which is orange clove apple cider. This is just a little bunt, I think, from a sampler that I got. When did I get this? This is October last year, so definitely had it for a while. A couple more bunts. I was going to say bumps. Bunts, pumpkin apple strudel leaves, and then sugar cookie dough leaves and coffee bean. I'm not a huge coffee fan, but I do have some coffee scents in my collection. I drink coffee. Love, love, love drinking coffee. I'm just not a fan of melting coffee. 
Um, let's see. I do have a loaf buried in this other one. Okay, so this is pumpkin souffle, cinnamon sugar donut, vanilla bean noel, and pie crust. You can see I have actually have this one chopped up. This is from October of 21. So I've had this one for quite a while. Definitely need to get to melting that one. And I think that is all. Well, that's all the visible L3. <laughs> so if I have more, I may find it buried someplace. So let me do... Um, I'm going to do my teddy bees because I do have quite a bit of teddy bees that I am hoping to get through. Um, let me do her loaves, the loaves that I have. Some of these I haven't melted. I got this one. I know I got this one in a ready to ship. It's fall y'all, which is marshmallow fireside, sweet cinnamon, orange zest, leaves, brown sugar, and vanilla. This is from September of 2022. It smells absolutely amazing on cold. I have not melted this scent before, but yeah, it smells so good. What I have found, I'm gonna comment really quickly about this on Teddy Bees. What I have found for Teddy Bees, because if you've watched my videos in the past, I've said, just not a fan of Teddy Bees. Um, but what I discovered is I need to let her stuff sit for nine months to a year. I know that sounds crazy, this is what works for me. It may not work for other people and for a lot of people that may not be reasonable to them. But I love her blends enough that if I could just be patient and let them sit for a year, they are actually quite strong for me. Most of them are gonna be like a strong medium or a strong scent throw when I melt them. Versus if I melt them right away, sometimes I get very little throw or a light medium. And so for me, for the money, and I have so much wax in my collection, I'm fine buying and knowing I'm gonna use it the following year. So right now, this year, I'm gonna use up fall scents that I have from 2021 and 2022. And then I've purchased a bunch of fall and Christmas scents this year that I'll just start using next year. So it works for me and I do that with a couple vendors or a few vendors. So um, that is what I have found works for me. And then I get really great throw from her wax when I do that. So I have that one. I have this um, next one is Creep Show. It's pumpkin sugar donuts, marshmallow fireside type, sugar cookies, creamy cheesecake, graham crackers, marshmallow cream, and a hint of sweet spice. This is from, well, it was poured October last year. So another one. Yeah, that one smells really good. I think I like the It's Fall Y'all a little bit more than this one on cold, but they both smell fantastic. So then I have cupcakes by the campfire. This is cupcakes at Tiffany's, blueberry sugar, marshmallow fireside, and a hint of pine. I have melted this one, but I don't think recently. So excited to melt more of that one. Um, I have, let's see. Okay, so those are like from, what journal is this one? Is this 21? This one is not dated. So I think this is from 2021. I have, several bags of chunks, which she does not do anymore, that are from 2021. So I have Weekend with Nene. This is Winterfell layered with pink toasted marshmallow. This could also be a winter scent, but I pulled it so I could start melting it because I don't want to carry these over into another year. The Beautiful Creatures, which is pecan waffles, Palo Santo vanilla milk. Modern Farmhouse, which is Tonka and Oud, Vanilla Birch, and Egypt, Egyptian Amber. This is another one that could possibly go into winter, but um, I went ahead and pulled it. Valkyrie, which is Cashmere Cream, Vanilla Snowflake type, and Palo Santo. Hopefully you guys can read that. Campfire Stories. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. This is Ooey Gooey S'mores, Cold Night Winds, and Sweet Vanilla Woods. Like... So amazing. And then the last of these chunk bags that are for fall are I Heart, or is I Heart Vanilla Pumpkin, Creamy Vanilla Marshmallow, Vanilla Milkshake, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, and Sweet Pumpkin. Her I Heart Pumpkin is a very, very popular blend. I love it on its own, but it's also really good in blends. I have a couple of soufflés. Um, 
This is Toil and Trouble. This is Pumpkin Spice Latte Apple Cider Donuts and Fluffy Marshmallows. This is from October last year. And then this one, it's not really fall. I think I pulled it to actually put this in my nighttime melts basket, which I'm gonna do separately. So I'm gonna show this to you now, but I do plan on showing you my like night melts, my like nighttime melting basket in another video. But this is pink zucchini cake pops, zucchini bread, vanilla cake pops, strawberry cake, pink sugar frosting. So that's like a type of scent I do like to melt at night. Okay, so here's my one exception for Teddy Bees that I'm good, that is from this year that I'm gonna try. This is Chai Tea Cookies. She just had this in the last pre-order that's shipped already. So there's an outstanding pre-order that just happened from early September. This is from the pre-order before that. I got this in a souffle and a tub. So since I have two, I figured I'm gonna try and melt this one and just see how it does. This was poured on July 20th. So it's sugar, signature sugar cookies, vanilla shortbread, and warm notes of chai. This is the, I love chai, first of all, and this is the most authentic chai note I have smelled in wax. Like it literally takes me back to India and having chai, like with, where they literally like steam the chai spices with milk. Oh my God. Like so amazing. Um, so anyhow, I think that's all of my teddy bees, I believe. Okay. So I think I'm going to do, hmm, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do, okay, Glitterati next. Um, I'm actually getting called up soon for my Glitterati customs, which I'm super excited about. I have a handful of customs from the last time I did customs with her, which was from May of 2017. Definitely the scent on these is not nearly as strong as it used to be, so I need to just finish these up. But this is Caramel Christmas Cabin. And then, um, so that's one that I pulled from an old custom. And then I have a few chunks. These are more recent. I think all of these are, yeah, from this year. I do now for her chunks, I start wrapping them in foil just to help because like the oils seem to leach out of the bags and kind of get mixed up with the scents next to it. So um, this is to kind of help prevent that. But this is Cider Lane Leaves and Mac Apple. This one is Zucchini Bread, Apples and Cream and Mallow. And this one is, oh, this is another one I need to put in my nighttime melting basket. This is Lavender Buttermint Vanilla Bean Oil. That's supposed to go in my nighttime melting basket. So I think that's it for Glitterati. And then I have, let's see, I have a, um, some like Walmart clamshells, just a few. Oh no, here's a scent shot from Glitterati that I have in Lou's Bakery that this is not even, oh yeah, this is also from 2017, so I need to melt that. I think I might have another scent shot as well. Here is Autumn Leaves. So need to try to get through those. So some Walmart wax here. I have Sensationals Pumpkin Patch Maze. Um, I've had these probably for a while, some of these. So look at this one's from 2016. Seriously, you guys, do not copy me in how old my wax is. I really don't reach for Walmart wax anymore, so I really need to melt this stuff. Caramel Pumpkin Seeds. I have a couple of the mainstays here crimson leaves. I think these are a little bit newer, not quite as old. And then Better Homes and Garden Pumpkin and Chai. This is a little bit newer as well. I think I got that in the last maybe, I think I maybe got that like last year, potentially. All right, I have some K's scented melt. So I have a few, I think these are custom, yeah, the ones I have are all custom. So this first one here, I called it Fall Bakery. This is pumpkin souffle, s'mores, and sugar cookie crunch. I do have about half of the bag left. So it would be good if I could get through that. I have butter brickle and marshmallow. Oh, this is such a good creamy like bakery scent. 
I haven't actually melted this one yet. The two cubes that are missing, I gave away. So um, yeah, I'm excited to melt that one. And then I have tobacco, vanilla, and Palo Santo. Just a little bit left of this one. That's on the lighter side, but it, it's pretty good. I have several clamshells from Hayes. So let me pull these. This is gonna be a long video, guys. I have Sweater Weather. She has a real good Sweater Weather. It smells like the Bath and Body Works type. This is Pumpkin Snickerdoodle, which is a house blend. It's, in, it's sugar cookies, pumpkin cinnamon, and sugar and nutmeg. We Three Kings, which I've melted before. I love the scent. It's Marshmallow Fireside, Blue Sugar, and Palo Santo. Pumpkin Souffle, which is pumpkin, butter, sugar, cinnamon, and spice. Autumn Crunch, which is apple caramel, zucchini bread, pumpkin, peanut brittle. I don't know where I'm going to put all this wax, to be honest. I'm going to have to, like, once this space fills up, move it and continue. Cabin in the Woods, white, pumpkin, amber, and fireside. Cranberry orange, which is tart cranby, cram, cranby, cranberry, and zesty orange. And then Goblin It Up, caramelized pralines, pumpkin souffle, and cornbread. I have, oh, I think I might have given a couple pieces away. That's why there's two missing. So I was like, I don't remember melting that. So that is it for K's. Um, let's see. Sorry, as so I move things around a bit here. I have, I have a few scents from Barrett's, Barrett Wax Crafts. He hasn't opened in a long time. These that I got are from his last pre-order that he did. Um, so this was from December 2022, Gingerbread House, Cranberry Woods, and Celtic Moon Spice. So I've definitely gotten more into like spicy blends lately, surprisingly. Um, so I have kind of a couple one-offs from different vendors. This one is Ebony and Violet Professor Kinsey. This says it's named after her oldest son and blended with him in mind. Quirky, mysterious, and oddly beautiful, just like him. I have no idea what's in this, but it's definitely more of like a warm, comforting scent. So that's why I picked it for fall. It definitely has like, I think it has like Palo Santo in it and something sweet maybe a little bit of blue sugar i don't know what else but it definitely has more of like a warm comforting set note to it let's see if i can put it over there and not knock my camera over then i also have kind of this one-off loaf from ava's country cupboard she's changed her name now is it traverse something wax i don't remember the exact name but this is Tiffany and the Grinch. It's buttery cupcakes, crushed mint and lemon. Sorry, crushed mint and lemon peel with hints of white chocolate and cinnamon. It's super cute with that like snowman. I have melted some of this. Um, I kind of went through a phase where I was buying a lot of cupcakes at Tiffany's Blends. Ooh, that smells really good. It kind of reminds me of like an Andy's mint. It has that like kind of mint chocolate type scent to it. It's pretty decadent. And I don't think I enjoy cupcakes at Tiffany's as much as I used to, but I do have quite a bit in my collection still. All right, so next, let's see. I think I'll go ahead and do the pharmacist's daughter. Um, I have a loaf here. This is going to be hard to see. So this is, the name of it is Screecher Creature. That's hard to see because it's kind of folded in there. But this is Palo Santo Cracklin Birch Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I love Cracklin Birch blends. So haven't melted that one at all. Excited to melt that. Have a few souffles from them. This is Rich and Creamy, which is Mac Apple Birthday Cake French Custard Marshmallow Fluff. Of Pumpkin Loaf, which is Pumpkin Chai Funnel Cake Zucchini Cake. I'm gonna smell this real quick, this pumpkin chai. Hmm, that smells okay. So that's the pumpkin loaf. Um, I have 
hay bales, which is also pumpkin chai, but with hay ride and blue sugar. So the reason I'm smelling these with pumpkin chai, pumpkin chai if I can talk, is because um, Glitterati has that in her, she has it available for my custom order. So I'm trying to decide how much I like it. And I'm not really picking up much of the chai in um, those two blends, but it may be completely different um, from another vendor. This is pecan pie bark. It's pecan pie, graham crackers, brown sugar, vanilla bean, and vanilla butter fudge. So oh, yummy good ones. I have, let's see, I have one, do I just have a stone? I have one from Salt Mountain Melts. This is Black Magic. This is Blackberry Merlot, Cedar, Amber, Sandalwood, Smoky, smoky Whiskey, Tobacco Flower, marshmallow, marshmallow, and Patchouli. Gosh, if I can talk. Her stuff has done pretty well for me. I only ordered once. Yeah, and this is kind of just a comforting, like, dark, fresh scent. Like it's a very pretty scent um, and it just does remind me of fall. So, um, and my stuff has done pretty good. So I did order from her most recent pre-order. So that's gonna be coming, I don't know, next month, October, November, I don't know. Um, from Britta's, cause I did place an order with Britta's earlier this year. So I have a couple things from her. This is Insidious, which is funnel cake, strawberry pound cake, apple cider donut, and then Monster Delight which and Cracklin Burt, which Monster Delight is a blend. I just don't remember what it's a blend of exactly. So let me move these items off and then continue the video. Okay, I have more room now. So Sassy Girl Aroma is next, which I have pulled quite a few from her. So I have a few loaves here. This is Bonfire Flurries, which I don't know that you're going to be able to read the description there, but um, it is slay the day away and cuddle up at night into a magical winter wonderland. A so snowy, so cozy blend of toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere woods. So I have not melted that one yet, but it was raved about a lot last year. I bought that last year. It's been curing in my collection. This next loaf from Sassy Girl is Halloween Night. This is Leaves, Bonfire Bliss, and Toasted Marshmallow on Cold. That one smells amazing. Have not melted that one yet either, but it smells absolutely fabulous. And this is Fall Bakery, Zucchini Bread, Sugar Cookies, Apple Pie, and Pumpkin. Another one that smells absolutely amazing on cold. So super excited to melt those. Um, let's see. Have some brittles. So this is more just bakery, not really fall, but I have like three of these, so I'm like, I really need to melt through them. So this is cupcakes at Tiffany's, toffee, tiny chocolate, fruity, buttercream, creamy, fluffy vanilla cake. So that. Um, I love this scent. It's Godfather. Tobacco leaf, ginger, spice, tonka bean, cocoa, fruity accord. That scent is amazing. I've melted through a brittle of that before. I have cranberry pie, which is tart cranberries, brown sugar, chopped walnuts, flaky pie crust. I have seasons to, sorry, seasons change to be jolly, clove buds and cinnamon sticks with a light vanilla. Um, Fog Hollow, which is Rustic Lodge, Bonfire Bliss, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Marshmallow Vanilla Bean Noel. And then this last one from Sassy Girl is Tis the Season to Be Jolly, Fruit, Clove Buds, and Cinnamon Sticks and Vanilla. Um, so even though it's a Christmassy name, it's definitely more of like a fall type scent. From Dessa's Homespun Scents, I have... A brittle here of sugared flames. This is smoked vanilla woods, cedar wood, and sugar cookies. It's a house blend. I have not melted that yet. There is a row missing because I've shared that with somebody. I have this loaf that I did. It's a custom loaf from 2021, so I definitely need to try to finish this up this year. This is cotton candy confection, sweater weather season, and cranberry sauce. Her sweater weather is, to me, a dupe of the Bath & Body Works. Love it. I have this 
what did she call these? Like, a, oh, it's a Build-A-Bar? I guess a Build-A-Bar custom. Baking Me Crazy and Fireflies. I don't have the scent notes on here, um, but this definitely has a fall type scent to it. And then I have a sugared zucchini streusel. This is a house blend of zucchini bread, sugar cookie, cinnamon streusel topping. Love this one. It's absolutely fantastic. I've melted through quite a bit of that. So I have, I have that plus some more, but I just pulled that one. I have some Rose Girls. These are pretty old as well. They're from 2021. So I have these chunks in Circus Concession, um, which is Mac Apple, Ooey Gooey Caramel, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Funnel Cake. That is a really good blend from her. I'm not a huge fan of caramel, but her caramel is really good. And then I have Christmas Eve and Cookie Land, which although this is a Christmas name, it's definitely more of a fall blend to me. Eggnog, Donut Holes, Cookies, Marshmallow Smoothie. So that's a yummy one. Um, front porch candles. Technically, I don't even know if she's still in business. I cannot remember the vendor's name. Um, I used to buy a ton from front porch back in my early days. And then I did place a couple orders with her maybe a couple years ago, two, three years ago. So I have a few things left that I really should melt that are fall blend. So there's two in here. There's pumpkin spice sugar cookies and then Amish friendship zucchini bread. Um, so that she does these little grubby four packs. So this one you can see has four in it. This one only has two. Um, I double bag my wax and I think at the time I didn't have enough bags to double bag that. That's why there's two in one and they're similar scents. But her stuff used to feel really, really, really strong. I just haven't melted it in forever and these are on the older side. So we'll see how they perform. And this one is Mrs. Claus Cookies. I love Mrs. Claus Cookies. It's such a yummy, like, sweet bakery cookie blend. Absolutely love it. I hope that throws well. And then Prairie Kitchen, which I don't have the scent notes for, but um, definitely like a fall type kind of bakery type scent. I have a couple things from Vintage Chic Scents. So this is The People Under the Stairs. This is oranges covered in clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg. This is also from 2021. This is two of her ghost shapes. I, Vintage Chic Scents is another one. I let her stuff cure for a long time. This is more cowbell bourbon chai. So it's a souffle. That's from 2021. I have, let's see, I have a, some stuff from, oh, I found another Glitterati. So here's Glitterati Scooby Snacks. It's Lou's Bakery Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookies. That's such an amazing blend. Love it. Um, I have a lot from Swanky. So I have this loaf. It's Palo and Bougie Vanilla. I love her Bougie Vanilla. I've melted a whole loaf of it. I don't know exactly what's in it, or I don't remember. Um, I feel like it has Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds in it for sure. But beyond that, I don't know. This smells like Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, maybe like another bakery, like a bakery scent, and then Palo Santo. It smells so good. I have Fireside Cream Cake. This is from 20, from November 21. This is Fireside Marshmallow with Secret Buttercream Blend. Rich and creamy. So good. Like, so good on cold. I need to warm that. I also have this one called Russian Tea. I don't have the scent blend. This came in a sampler or like a mystery bag or something. It's from late last year. Russian Tea, but it definitely has like kind of a fallish vibe to it. I feel like there's like a lot of glare from my overhead light. So sorry about that. I have the perfect autumn, these four little pumpkins. Um, oh, I have two, like I have this diamond shape, which is super cute. And then these other little shapes, they're all in apple pumpkin strudel. So I just put them together in one bag. This is sweater weather, vanilla birch sandalwood. Oh my gosh, it smells so good on cold. Her sweater weather smells like the Bath and Body Works type. This is Apple Harvest Festival, a couple shapes. And a couple of her scent shots. This is Masala Gingerbread Cookie. So it's her Masala Chai and then Gingerbread Cookie. Love her Masala Chai. Then this one is called Fall Nights. I don't remember what's in it. I'm gonna sniff it really quick. And I can't tell, it's more like kind of a fresh fall air but I don't know what the scent notes are. 
have one from Sugar Melts by Stacy. I haven't ordered a lot from her. I got some stuff in a D stash. I think I did place a couple orders from her, mostly summery type scents. So this is the only thing that kind of borders on fall. This is cinnamon Irish cream, French vanilla Irish cream, and hints of sweet cinnamon. So that cinnamon I feel like gives kind of a fallish type scent. Okay, I found a few more from the pharmacist daughter. These are from samplers I did from her back in 21. So this is classic apple pie, which is apple pie, vanilla ice cream, cinnamon roll with vanilla frosting. This is Irish apple cake. I have just two of these little bars left. Mac apple vanilla pound cake, brandy custard. This is pumpkin cranberry cookies, two of the bars left. This is cranberry pumpkin, vanilla ice cream, sugar cookie dough. And then just one little bar left of pumpkin loaf. Oh, I think I have the souffle in this, right? Yeah, pumpkin, chai, funnel cake, zucchini bread. So maybe I'll combine that with that souffle. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna move over a little bit to give me a little bit more room. I'm almost done, like getting there. I have a couple things from Rainbow Melts, which I don't order from her anymore. Too many shenanigans with her shipping, <laughs> but this is North Pole Bakery. It's pumpkin, pecan, waffles, gingerbread, waffle cone, butter brickle. Again, from 2021. And then Merry Morning, frosted cinnamon rolls and espresso. Like I said, not a huge fan of coffee scents and wax, but I'll melt that and get rid of it. I have one thing from Destination Wax. I think I've only ordered from them like once or twice, maybe. This is chai tea, uh, black tea, lightly spiced with cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, and a splash of vanilla. So love my chai scents. I have a handful of bags from Candles from the Keeping Room. Now I have a ton of wax from Candles from the Keeping Room. I could definitely pull more than this, but I thought I'll start with these four bags and I'll just add to it if I want as the fall time progresses. This is blueberry, brown sugar, zucchini bread. Now her bags, they're double bagged. What I do is I take off the ribbon and I just stick the whole thing in a zip top poly bag. So it's a little bit easier to get to, but Basically, this is in three bags now, so it's like super protected. Um, she only has one more opening before she closes permanently. I am planning on op you know, ordering from that, so um, I will be stocked up on her wax. This is English marmalade and scones. So English marmalade, because it kind of tends to have like a little bit of a spiced note to it. That's why I picked it for fall. This is marshmallow fireside. This is actually... Oh, the date is not on here. I don't know when I got this one. The, I don't know if the sticker fell off or I just forgot to date that one. I don't know. And then this is Mr. Bear's Flapjack. This is from February 2022 is when I got it. I don't know when it was poured. Okay, the very last vendor that I have here is the Bathing Garden. The Bathing Garden is another vendor that I let her wax cure for a long time, a year. So I'll buy... Stuff I buy this year, I'm gonna let it sit till next year. So the stuff I'm gonna show you is all stuff I purchased last year, at least, or maybe even prior to that. Um, this first one is a Wickedly Whimsical Autumn. Okay, so this is her big clamshell. They are just like absolutely gorgeous. So when I know I love a scent, I will get it in the big clam. So I have that one, haven't melted it. Um, I have Spiced Eggnog Chai Tea. This is from 2021. Oh, I do have the scent notes. Boozy eggnog, chai tea, cinnamon bark, and patchouli. So I have melted some of that, but I don't remember. I might have cost me a I might have melted it before it had time, before I let it cure, because I was anxious. So I don't remember how that one did. Candied pumpkin, sorry. This is super cute with like this super pink, but with the pumpkins. Um, this is from last year. I do not have the scent notes on this one, but this is definitely like kind of like a pumpkin with like a cotton candy. Yeah, it's like a pumpkin, like bakery kind of spicy pumpkin with the, with like something really sweet in it. It's really good though. This is blackberry fudge. Don't have the scent notes. This is from April last year. Oh my gosh, this one is so good. Um, yeah, it's just like a juicy blackberry, but with like kind of a rich like decadent flavor. I don't know if it's like vanilla butter fudge, I think maybe with it. And then I think this is Yeti Nog. This is supposed to be a dupe for, um, what is that place called? Gosh, I never bought from there. A Lush, I think it's a Lush dupe. Um, 
but I can't remember the name of it, but it's like an eggnog type scent. And then I have a handful of small clams from her, fall into sweater weather. Um, don't have scent notes on that one, but I think it's a sweater weather dupe. Sweater, sweater weather dupe. November's pumpkin. I love this one. It's one of my favorite pumpkin scents from her. Yeah, so good. It's like, it's just this like, I think it has kind of like a fiery, like roasty pumpkin type scent in it with some spices. You'll see like a lot of these clams I'll have one missing because I share that. So I supply my dad with all his wax basically. So what I'll go through is like take out one little cube from each of my clam shells because he just melts in his room um, and share that with him. Frosted pumpkin. Cranberry spice. Okay, almost done. Two more. This long, long video. White pumpkin. I love white pumpkin scents. And then marshmallow pumpkin rice crispy. So this is definitely, you know, not everything that I own that is fall. Um, but it's a good amount. <laughs> but I pull, try to pull out scents that were a little bit older. And I, like I said at the beginning, I tried to pull something from every vendor I have in my collection. For some vendors, I have very little. For some vendors, I have a lot more. There's maybe like two-ish, I'm trying to think, like maybe two vendors that I had like zero fall scents from, so I didn't pull anything from them. Um, or maybe three vendors, potentially. Um, so anyhow, so this is what I plan on melting for the next couple months. I will also be doing some empties videos. I'll also show you my nighttime melts um, basket because I do melt different scents at night when I go to bed and then I'll have some haul videos coming up so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you have any thoughts questions comments about this crazy amount of wax definitely feel free, free to post below I know I'm not the only one though that has a collection like this because um, I've seen so many new YouTubers posting um, their like fall or winter kind of collections for melting baskets and we just we all have an addiction but we're all there together so I hope you guys enjoyed talk to you soon bye